very good morning to Sir Kamarudin. Today we will present our group project is creating a network using Cisco Packet Tracer. First, let me introduce our member team. First is Nasir Ashad bin Hamidi, Muhammad Kide bin Naha, Muhammad Farhan Shafi bin Sharid, and Muhammad Irfan Nazmi bin Muhammad Nazri. Uh, Muhammad Kide will doing on Packet Tracer. Uh, Muhammad Irfan Nazmi will doing a uh, introduction which is which is overview and objective uh, Muhammad Nasr Ashad will doing on literature view a task delegation and conclusion and me will doing uh, on methodology and the result of the packet tracer first let me talk about overview our company is company cyber cafe coffee uh, this uh, network design of a business company that provide personal computer of accessing internet, playing games, chatting with friends and more. Uh, our company was located at Johor Bahru and the name of the company is Cyber Cafe Coffee. Uh, let's talk about the packet tracer topology. We using star topology which is we using one router, one server, three switch and more PC. On each switch, we adding four PC. Next is the objective of the task. First is we learn how to set up a simple network using the simulation tool which is the packet tracer. To share file between PC in, in the packet tracer which use it using command prompt. To check a connection between device in a network using command prompt. To check the IP address of device that connect to our network using the command prompt. Five is to view a list of stations that connect in a network using command prompt. Six is to send messages between device in the network. And lastly is to provide a network monitoring tool that available to monitor our network. Next is literature review. We using packet tracer, which is packet tracer is a cross platform using simulation tool designed by Cisco system that allow user to create network topologies and imitate modern computer network. The software allows users to simulate the configuration of Cisco router and switch using a simulated command in line interface. Next is we using YouTube that we learn a packet tracer for YouTuber. We learn that how to use router, a switch and PC on the Cisco packet tracer. And lastly is we search some resource such as senior presentation on ITT Parallel so that we can learn how to make a how to make a slide on ITT 400 and the report for the ITT 400. Okay, now we need to set up our packet tracer. First, we choose our server. We put server and router. And router that I will choose is 1941. And after that, we choose switch. Researchers and we put our PC. After we set up all the PC, we put all the PC together and we need to link the PC with the switches using copper strip wire. Let me choose fast internet 1, 0, 1 to 5 minutes 0 and repeat with all the PC that we have.
router we link all the PC with the switches we open router and go to go to 4e as the value and we need to put this port into our router first we turn off the router and just we drag it to the router and we turn it on after it already turn on we just link it with the server and the switches to router So we need to wait until this turn to green and after it turn to green we go to the server and we go to the service and DHCP and first we need to turn it on we name our server and set our default gateway to 192.168.1 10.1 and IP address 192 168.1.0 and our subnet mask is 255 255 255 0 and we add it into our server and then we go to desktop IP configuration so we need to set the IP address to 192.168.1.1 Default gateway we use the what we have put in the service 192.168.10.1 and after that we done So after we have set up our server we go to PC and go to RP configuration and we just click the DHCP to request the IP address that we are automatically insert by DHCP so we just repeat the step to all the PCs DHCP the stock RP configuration DHCP the stock RP configuration DHCP we repeat until PC 11 we just click it and after all of it have been assigned by the CP and we are done Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum. I am Muhammad Ifan Azmi Bihaman Azri and I will be explaining three parts of the demonstration which is uh, to share the file between PC in the bracket tracer using command prompt to check a connection between device, between device in a network using a common prompt and to check the IP address of device that connected to our network using common prompt. Okay, let's proceed to Cisco bracket tracer. Okay, this is our topology. Okay, to check the uh to share the file between the uh between device first, we need to open the server PT and wait. Okay, this and uh we go to the service and go to the FTP. Okay, first this is the uh, username and password that were provided by the Cisco. I will make my own username and password. It will be Ethan and the password will be one two three. Uh, then I will take all this uh thing and click it. I will also delete delete the username and password that were provided by the Cisco Cisco packet tracer. Okay, then close this. We go to the PC zero. PC zero. Uh, first we need to check the uh. IP address that uh of the server. Okay, this is the IP address of the of the server. Then, 
we will go to the test editor okay i i will write right any open saya kacak okay then i will save as a event kacak okay then i will remove and i will open the common prompt okay first uh we need to check the whether uh the the test before uh, is in the directory of the pc0 or not so uh put the comment of dir so here there is a event kacak.txt then uh, I will go to the FTP, which is the server of this uh, network, and input FTP, which uh, and the IP address of the server, which are one and two point one and two dot one six eight dot one dot one. Okay, then it will connect to the ni and to the F, uh, to the server, and I will need to enter the username and password that I enter just before. Okay, I have logged into the server. Then I will check the uh, directory of the server. There is no the ifankacak.txt in this server. So I will put this from this uh, PC0 to the server, which is um, common of put ifankacak.txt. Okay, the transfer is complete. We will need to check by input the common of uh, directory. Get this okay now the server have the uh of the test of if gacha that i have entered before and i will quit and uh, the comment of quit. this is uh to close the server to close the connection to the server then i will uh open the pc1 which is another and i will check whether this pc1 have the uh file of ifan kacak or not as you can see here there is no uh, or ifan kacak.txt so i will connect to the uh, ftp and which is ftp is the of the server and i will enter the ifan and one two three and then i will check the directory and there is the event kacak.txt. I will get the event kacak.txt. Transfer complete. And uh, I will quit now. And I will check the directory of the PC1. Now uh, there is uh, event kacak.txt at the PC1. To double confirm, we can open the test editor and go to the file and open. So now there is event kacak.txt. On the PC one, which is here, the text that the text file that I entered before. Okay, thank you. That's for the uh, share file. Then we will proceed to the to check the connection between PC. Okay, uh, to check the uh, connection between PC, first we need to check the IP address of the of the PC, which is one point one zero. And eh, uh, I will use the PC zero to check the connection with PC one. Okay, the PC0 uh, IP address is 192.192.168.1.9 This one 192.168.1.10 Okay, then I will open the PC0 And I will ping okay. So I will send a ping to the PC1 which is ping 192.168.1.10 okay, nice nice okay now we can see here as we can see here uh there is no uh lost packet while sending the ping so we can ensure that uh, the connection between pc0 and pc1 is uh is having a good connection uh, then i will proceed to pc2 it is PC2 is uh, 192.1.7 I will ping to 192.1.7 Ok nice nice Ok as you can see here there is also uh, there is no uh, packet loss by while pinging at the PC, PC2 
this is uh, we can uh, completely show that uh, connection between PC0 to all the PC is very good. Okay, then uh, I will check. Now I will uh, view list the IP address of the PC by using a common prompt. Uh, as you can see here, uh, the PC address, uh, the, uh, the IP address of the PC is 192.1 uh 192.168.1.9 so to check it using a common prompt we need to uh enter the command of ip config ip config as you can see here this is the ip address of the pc and this is the ip address of the uh router okay uh you can also enter the uh common prompt of ip uh common of IP config uh, space all. This will uh, uh, show all the uh, information of the PC. As you can see here, this is the IP address of the server. Okay. Thank you. That's all from me. Hello, my name is Nasul, and let's go on how to list. A station in our network using command prompt. First of all, we will go to our router and here we will type on show IP interface inter oops interface brief. This will show a brief of our IP address. So here we will have our gigabits which uh, IP address next we will go back to our slide let's go to our slides ok so what is networking monitoring tools networking monitoring tools is a software and hardware solution that can track network operations including traffic, bandwidth usage and uptime this system can send email or text a alert to administrator and generate report using network analytics this is because administrator need to monitor their network so what are example of networking monitoring tools there are so many in in 2039s but one of the famous one is Ichinga Ichinga or Ichinga I think and Ichinga is one of the network monitoring tools available in internet Ichinga provides many plans with a good price from starter plans, basics, premium and enterprise. Now let's go to our next slide which is conclusion. What we can conclude from our group projects? First, we learn how to set up a wired and wireless network by using packet tracer. We understand more about topologies and how topology works. We also share files between PC in a packet tracer using command prompts we check the connection between device in our network by using command prompts we also check the ip address using command prompts and view a list of stations that connect in network using command prompts like i show before this we also demonstrate how to send message between devices and the last one is we provide a network monitoring tools that can be used to monitor our network which is Ichinga. Ichinga. and here our reference which is we have the uh, capability of network knowledge what is network monitoring and about Ichinga too and that's all thanks for listening